The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard after agreeing with them for the usual daily wage he sent them into his vineyard going out about nine o'clock the landowners saw others standing idle in the marketplace and he said to them you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too, go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, it received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also get the usual wage. And on receiving, they grumbled against the landowner saying the last ones worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat he said to one of them in reply my friend i am not cheating you did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage, take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? That's the last will be first and the first will be last the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ please be seated i i attack a kakapsa kuida kinapo kristo naimbag Abigat yo amin. Today's gospel can use as its introduction the words from our first reading today from the prophet Isaiah. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways says the lord the parable of the lord challenges our human way of reckoning the land owners hires people to work in his vineyard he hires people to work starting at six o'clock a.m 
den later on he invited some at nine o'clock, twelve o'clock noon, three o'clock p.m. and five o'clock p.m. We would expect that those hired later to get less than those who work earlier. And yet, those hired later get as much as those hired earlier. They all get the same normal wage. The landowner explains that he has not deprived anyone of just wage. And no one can blame him for exercising generosity. As he said, I am free to do as I please with my money. Am I not? Or are you envious? Because I am generous. The landowner's mysterious but generous ways is meant to give us a picture of God's ways with us human beings, his creatures. How mysterious indeed are the ways of God. Why did he choose a poor, simple seminarian from Gataran Cagayan to become a bishop of Bontok Lagawe and then later to become bishop of San Fernando La Union. Why did he choose a simple housewife to succeed a brilliant president of the Republic of the Philippines? Why did he choose an old man by the name John Marie Vianney to become the parish priest in an obstacle town and Paris in Ars France to become the renowned and saintly apostle of the confessional and become later patron saint of the Paris priest. Why did he choose a beautiful young girl, Saint Therese of Lisieux, a cloistered Carmelite nun who died in her early 20s to become the greatest saint of modern times. And why did he choose a very simple and poor Martin, a Dominican lay brother in Peru, to become the popular patron saint of the sick? And indeed, why did he choose the Philippines, and not China, nor Japan, nor Singapore, to become the first Christian nation in Asia. We can go even farther and ask why God chose a virgin of the obscure town of Nazareth to become the mother of his son. God, my dear friends, is never unjust to anyone. He always gives every person the grace that person needs to live in his life, pleasing God. But God gives special favors to some people for reasons only he ultimately knows. And those favors benefit not only the recipients, but all of us, all of us. And so we should be appreciative of anything the Lord has given us. So my dear friends, let us thank God, our loving Father, for his goodness to all of us, at the same time, praise Him for whatever gifts 
he has given to each one of us without envying the gifts of others. And to do this is to possess one of the keys to a happy living. After all, when you come to think of it, we are not diminished a bit, but only helped by the fact that God gave His special graces to the Virgin Mary, His mother. Gave special graces to St. Lorenzo Ruiz, the first Filipino saint. God gave graces to an old man who became priest and became the patron saint of all parish priests, St. John Marie Vianney. And gave graces to a beautiful young lady, St. Therese of the Child Jesus. Give graces to Pope John Paul II, to St. Martin de Porres. My dear friends, the parable has also another special and urgent message for us today. And the Lord asks each of us, you too will go and work in my vineyard. Everyone is called to participate in the new evangelization. No one is allowed to stand idle. Everyone has to employ his or her gifts to make the good news of salvation known to everyone. And no one is without any gift. And the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines declares, No one is so poor as to have nothing to give. Yes, my dear friends, each of us counts, and Christ is counting on each one of us. Let us not disappoint Him, and He certainly will not disappoint us. And so, my dear friends, we are all gathered here today in front of our Blessed Mother. And the best gift that we can give to our Blessed Mother is to love her son, Jesus. And secondly, to pray the rosary. My dear brothers and sisters, in using and in praying the Holy Rosary is not an obligation to all of us or to each one of us, but this is a very rare privilege that God has given to each one of us to call Mary our Blessed Mother. May the Holy Rosary, Queen of Manawag, and her son Jesus continue to pour each of us, our family, our community, their guidance, their blessings, and their protection. God bless you.